All right, let's get to, a, I think, a thorny topic, which is insomnia. Everyone wants their perfect sleep for nine or ten hours a night, um, and they're frustrated when they're getting less than that. Um, and this is especially true in older populations. You want to look for conditions that might be reversible that are causing them to wake up at night. If they're having uncontrolled pain, if they're waking up multiple times a night to urinate, if they're having restless legs, uh, are they having troubles breathing? Are they having orthopnea? Could this be sleep apnea where they're awakening? Or are they just ruminating a lot and they can't sleep because of uncontrolled anxiety? Lots and lots of things to think about. Think about medications that can cause insomnia. SSRIs and SNRIs are actually pretty big culprits here. Uh, so thinking about that, mirtazapine is a particularly good medication we think about if uh, our uh, elder folks have both insomnia and depression. Stimulants, looking for, uh, you know, are these people on medications for ADHD uh, or taking other stimulants, uh, especially caffeine? Corticosteroids can mess up your sleep patterns. Diuretics, I have patients who mistakenly take their diuretic before bed at night. Counsel them on avoidance of caffeine, alcohol, and nicotine uh, before bedtime. Screen time is another thing that's certainly reared its ugly head in the last 20 some years. All right. What's the treatment for insomnia? The correct answer on every board question is CBT, right? I can't find a CBT specialist to see my patients. Uh, I don't think they actually exist, but according to the studies, this works better than medications and it's safer. And so everyone should get CBT. Um, medications are second line trying to avoid the addictive medications. Those are the benzos or Z drugs, uh, Zolpidem, Azopiclone. Um, those are all associated with increased risk for falls uh, as well as mental status changes. Trazodone or gabapentin have been perhaps reasonable alternatives that are not habit forming. There are other drugs that have a lot of anticholinergic effects, and so you have to be careful of the adverse effects from those. Uh, Remelteon is a melatonin agonist that may be helpful in a small subset. Melatonin is also a very simple medication that, or, or supplement that may be worth a try in patients. And then if patients, I just mentioned, if they're having uh, nightmares and PTSD symptoms, you might think about the alpha blockers to help them. But a complex uh, topic for sure.